Oh, would you look at that, guys? We got a lot done in the last episode of turboing this thing. Unfortunately, a lot of the hard work is still ahead of us because we actually need to make it work now instead of just blowing exhaust into it. So in order to do that, what we're gonna be doing is we'll make a little flange and mount the carburetor over here with the throttle and everything up here. Then what we'll do is we'll run the air fuel mixture through the, through the output side of the turbo. We'll clock this so it's more like here and then we'll run it right into the intake. Okay, so time for a major change in plans. Um, this was this is a weekend after me and Jason went back up to school and we kind of talked a lot about what we're doing with the turbo and we decided we're basically changing it to something that no one's really done before but I think this is the way we're gonna get around our tuning issue and getting too lean under boost. So, bear with me. This is kind of just a prototype because I have these really nice flanges and stuff, but I, we, I, I don't want to weld a carburetor to it or like a weld a flange for a carburetor to this yet until I know it works. So right now we have this kind of heinous attachment here, but here's our TCT carburetor. This is where things get interesting. We're going to have the intake tubing go down through this carburetor. So we're going to be running two. So what's going to happen is we'll have some sort of throttle up here that's driver controlled for this carburetor. What you'll do is you'll drive normally on this carburetor at lower RPMs because there's not that much boost, probably hardly any boost pressure coming through here. So basically at lower RPMs, this is gonna run as a naturally aspirated predator. So the next thing we need to do there is, uh, we were reading your guys' comments, thank you, keep putting them because the turbo build is kind of like a real time build. I'm filming this right now, I'm posting it this weekend. This needs to get clocked downwards. If the turbo is forcing down, it just go straight down and then gravity can help it. Um, let me show you this, guys. We just bought this. Before I tell you, I wonder if y'all can guess. <laughs> this is a six speed, like close to 300 cc rotary motor. We just picked it up, does not run. It's off a W2000 motorcycle made by Hercules. This is like one of 300 with a direct oil injection. You can look it up. They only made 2,000 of these bikes. The fact that this engine's even in America is kind of a small miracle. And the fact that it showed up on Craigslist and we bought it is something else. So stay tuned, subscribe if you like rotaries and you like shifter carts and you like them together. We couldn't get it facing directly straight down just because we have clearance issues with the valve cover and stuff. This is Go Power Sports build your own header kit, but it turns out to be the exact diameter as the inside of the turbo outlet. So basically, what we were thinking of doing is just welding it right in here. Then we have a start, and then we can just daisy chain all these 90 degree vents together to do a complete 180, which definitely is not ideal, but. What we gotta do is what we gotta do, and then we'll just run a little coupler right in here. So let's just get to cutting this stuff out and welding it now, trying to make something work. This is actually really easy. So we're basically just gonna go like this, and then we'll do some magic with pipes to basically step this up to here. And then also, we, we got this exhaust flange, that has like a single hole in it over here, which is, it makes it really easy so we don't have to like, making an exhaust just gets really easy. So, I basically cut this Go Power Sports header pipe with a little 45, and just goes right out of here. Looks pretty good. All right, so this is all rolled up. So now, I mean, I'll bolt it up later, I just gonna let it cool down, but that is pretty sweet. Okay, so we ended up getting like three different sizes of hose and then stacking them, but we finally got the seal <laughs> that goes from the charge pipe to the Makuni. And then we just weld it all up and yeah. hopefully it worked.
Okay, just tight buttoning up the last pieces. I mean, this thing looks amazing. Yeah. Like, this looks way cleaner than I was expecting. Yeah, it's nice. Real short. I was really worried about, you know, turbo being here and carburetor being here, but it was really smooth. We just used these two 90s. Yeah. I did, like, kind of, I went heavy on the weld here. It's not as pretty as I'd like it to be, but I just don't want air to leak out. And that's just another variable we'd have to deal with. So now, yeah. let it rip. Yeah. Trial one, we are, oh yeah, for the record, we're just running this because if it works like this right now, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we're, then we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we just threaded this little machine screw in there. It's kind of janky. Um, we're hoping it's that for it won't. testing purposes. Yeah, we're hoping it doesn't unthread itself and go into the engine. <laughs> it, will. it will definitely block off the air. So yeah, that's all we're trying to do here. Just kind of do a little thing, test it, little thing, test. Okay guys, so let us explain. We have, <laughs> um, so we got the mechanical Tillotson carburetor, what's it called? TCT. TCT Tillotson carburetor, and then we have to have another gas tank here. But we're hoping that this will give us, like, make up for the lost fuel in uh, the Makuni over here. Yeah. It'll just run At through the entire RPM. Up. The deal with this is we can wait for it to get to a certain RPM, then we hit this when we want the extra fuel to go through. Yes. In theory. Because I, I mean, this thing will idle for days. Yes. And then this thing will... This is like the most only carburetor. Um, and don't worry, we're not doing double-decker gas tanks if this works. <laughs> <laughs> if this works, what we'll do is we'll just put a T in here with a Go Powers Worth pulse pump and then just pump the fuel up to here. Yeah. So, with that being said, Let's just get this on the tripod and go for a shot and see what happens because we're just experimenting at this point. I know what's wrong. What? Can you turn the pump off? How the f... <laughs> it can't pull air. Oh. This is the intake. Here, try. Oh, if we just floor that one. Smell the feel from it. All right, all right, ready? Yeah. Let's just try it. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I'm floored. I'm floored. Okay. So that was floored, and I was floored. So uh, either we have too much fuel or something. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just try it again. Sure. Wait. Or think. But the problem is, there's nowhere to get air from when this is floor. We need like some. We need like a bypass air. Yeah. Wait, we could. Uh, hmm. No, because there'd be no vacuum pulling fuel from there. If we did like a throttle bot. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put another Makuni for just for the sole purpose of air. All right, ready? I just try to start it. Yeah, that might be better. Should I put the pump on? Yeah, why not?
Power, like that. No, okay, that was in. All right, basically, How? what you need to do is it's gonna be a, a magic act to try to control this thing. But basically, we're gonna need like a thumb throttle here and a foot throttle, and you just mess with this until it reaches a certain like happy place, and then it just revs. Yeah. So like, like I was holding this one kind of like at like near half throttle ish, so that the air could come through, but that was controlling most of the like. Revving, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Like, yeah, like this, honestly. If we just like set this to be, or if we had like something where we had like an idle and then we could pull it up and just yeah. keep it there. Or you could hold your foot at just the throttle position that we, we just- do, We could do a little throttle stop where you just floor it. Yeah. And then just one throttle. Yes, and then just use this to basically get it in the tappy place. Um, I can't believe how well that worked. That's like, that is the heart. This is a completely stock Predator, and I can like, I have no idea. It's impossible to tell if it made more power just by sitting there. But that's the hardest I've ever heard a stock Predator turn for sure. Yes, yeah, like yeah, it literally like it, <laughs> it felt sad. like it felt like it was on the brink of explosion. That's a win. Um, I think it's. I think we can move on the face too, honestly. Yeah. I think. Ready for trying to drive. Cause guys, this is, it's hoopty, I know, but we're just trying to get to that fate. Like, this is the only way it's gonna work. I'm not, we're not about to spend eight hundred dollars on EFI for however much it costs. Cause we have plenty of money into this. This is more just for views and research and just for fun than anything else. But wow, I'm like, my heart's leaving on my chest right now. I mean, that was insane. I felt that power. Wow, man. Promising. Our faces. Yeah, are buddy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, th that was amazing. I just like watched that fo footage last night before going to bed. And it's the next day. This is so cool. Um, this is a long video though, so we're gonna wrap it up here. The next part is definitely going to be like hooking up the gas tank and pulse pump, so we don't have to have this double decker gas tank, and then just running like a throttle cable here. And then if that doesn't take too long, and footage wise, we'll drive it to but stay tuned for basically tuning this turbo, which is what we're really excited for because we definitely want to probably lean out this Makuni and then adjust the jetting on this one. So we can just really just fine tune everything. I have a feeling this is actually going to be our main power carburetor, but we'll figure it out when we're tuning it. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Go Power Sports. You can get the Makuni there for running this setup if you want. TCT carburetors they also sell there and all the parts on this build are here. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Like for Turbo.